Real quick, if you want to learn more about macronutrients and understand that methodology on how they can help you achieve your body composition goals of changing the way your body looks, I put together a free 15-minute training where I dive into macronutrients and how you can control your body for the rest of your life with them. That link is in the description below. Click on it after listening to the show today. This book helps you become self-aware, and that is the first step that you have to take when you are making a transition for yourself to greater things. You have to be self-aware because if you're not self-aware, all of the external things that you are blaming or being a victim to are just going to control you. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Macro Hour. Or if this is one of your first episodes, welcome to the show with Nikki Sott, co-founder of Warrior Babe. And on this podcast, we talk about mindset, methodologies, and tactics that will help you lose body fat, build muscle, be strong, and feel insanely confident. I am your host, Nikki Stott, and welcome to episode number 73, where I was asked, on Instagram where I put the questions thing on my story for me to answer these questions on the podcast, I was asked, what are my top favorite books that I have read that can help with habits and getting to where you want to be with your life and the results that you guys are seeking when it comes to like your fitness journey, right? And while these books I'm going to share with you are totally mindset, I think that mindset is one of the most important things, guys, when it comes to your fitness journey. Like, if you are forever in the state and energy of I can't do this and like you're sitting in a low vibration of like all of the excuses and the victim mentality, you won't get where you want to be. Your journey is going to be so much harder when it comes to taking action and going to the gym and like eating the right foods. You will self-sabotage in so many ways if you are sitting in that low vibration and that low energy of I can't, okay? And so if you just switch your mindset, which these books are going to dramatically help you in that sense, they may not have any relation to fitness, but they can help you so much to frame your mindset in a way that I can do this and to believe in yourself a little bit more than where you would if you're in a low vibration state or a low energy state. Like these books can help you just when you read words that you feel and that you feel are what you know to be that you can be. Oh my God, dude, guys, it's just an absolute game changer to helping your brain formulate, you know, thoughts and visions of like what you can do and what you are capable of doing. It's an absolute game changer. So I hope, you know, take this podcast, write down these books, go to Amazon, get these books and Take seriously, if you're somebody who does self-sabotage yourself and get in your own way, look, the only way I was listening to this this new other book, uh, which maybe I'll share in the future, it's a little bit more advanced, um, but I was listening to it in the car today and you know what, actually, let me just read you what it said because this will just help me frame the rest of the podcast and you know these books I'm going to share with you, um, but it was... The objective is not to learn to mimic greatness, but to calibrate your inner meter, internal meter for greatness so we can better make the thousands of choices that ultimately lead to our great work, right? So when you work on your own internal meter of greatness, so many things in your world will positively affect what you want to accomplish for yourself. Okay, so many things will come easier. The words that you say, the actions that you take, the way you lead yourself to go and take and do the things that you know you need to do will come from an internal meter of greatness, which only you are able to work on. Okay, it's not going to come externally from your husband or from your friends. Now, while those conversations and those things that you're in on a, in, on a daily basis 
uh, with your friends or with what you're eating or with what you're drinking, those will positively or negatively impact your impact your internal meter for greatness. So the low vibrations, the low energy, the people that are surrounding you, like friends who aren't taking their journey seriously, can really impact that internal meter of greatness. You're not going to have a high internal meter of greatness if all the things surrounding you are in a having a negative experience, right? Or or the or the opposite of what you want to be doing for yourself, right? If some if you are surrounding yourself with with uh, non doers, you are going to be a non doer. You are like ninety five percent of the people five ninety five percent of five the five people you hang out with the most. That is you. Hey guys, love so much that you guys are listening to this podcast. If you ever want to have the video version of this which usually has more effects and all that good stuff for those of you who are visual learners, check it out YouTube channel, Warrior Babe, if that's what you like. Either way, keep enjoying the show. But on the flip side, right, if you're having conversations that are where your friends and like, well, I love to say and use it as an example is like the community of Warrior Babe, man. These women are going at it and doing what they all collectively are trying to work towards. So like the collective is working towards you know, becoming healthier and stronger versions of themselves and helping them regain their personal power and feel confident in their skin. And when you're surrounded by that, then your internal meter of greatness is going to be more positively towards what you are trying to accomplish when it comes to your fitness goals. When you have women that have a can-do attitude, guess what? You're going to have a can-do attitude, okay? So, but it, but it starts with you, it starts with you and then these external factors can start to play play a factor in it in that way, right? But you have to be the one that works. Like you can't mimic greatness. Like you can't pretend like, you know, oh, I'm great because I did this today. But did you do that consistently over weeks on end, right? That's your That's you increasing your internal meter for greatness. So that was just a little, you know, rant into what I mean by mindset. And like you have to have your mindset on board in a supportive way in order for you then to go take the actions that you want and then follow through on the results you want to achieve. It has to be supportive. It cannot be non-supportive. Right? I just I just elaborated on that. So write down these books, go to Amazon and order them. And I hope that they positively impact you in a way that they have for me. These books have been absolute game changing for me. Um, I've read them multiple of times. And uh, one of the books, actually the first book I'm going to share with you is what we are, what our coaches just read and what we're having our VIP community start reading for a uh, challenge in July. And so the first book is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. And this book, oh man, guys, this is one of the first books that I read when I was transitioning from a non, you know, supportive mentality to all of the excuses from a victim state and wanting to be better, wanting to have a I can do this and supportive mentality. This was one of the first books I read and it was an absolute game changer to me during this time. This book helps you become self-aware. And that is the first step that you have to take when you are making a transition for yourself to greater things. You have to be self-aware because if you're not self-aware, all of the external things that you are blaming or being a victim to are just going to control you. And when you become self-aware and you take responsibility and you take action for the external and know that it's not the external, it's you it's just, it's like your world's flip. <laughs> okay, so this book will help you become more self-aware. It will help you figure out what you not only want in life, but like what I say, it's like it'll help you just become a stronger version of yourself to take action and figure out what you wanted to do, how what you want with your physical body, what you want with your fitness results. And then it'll help you just summon the guts to not worry about the how, not worry about how you're going to get it done, just Know you want it so bad that you're going to take all of the action and figure out figure it out on the, along the way. It's also going to help you to kick others' opinions to the freaking curb. Like it's, I've talked about this in previous podcasts that opinions are the cheapest commodities on earth, and all of the people that are around you, especially the ones that are sitting in that low vibration state, 
are going to have all of the opinions to say when you're trying to flip over to the other side and the other the good side right and it's going to just help you be able to kick all of that shit to the curb not let it affect you as you are making this evolutional evolutionary process to become bigger and better and like focus on a healthy lifestyle for yourself and just focus on the life and the one thing that will make you happy which is you and that's you that and that's how you are a badass okay that is how you are a badass all of the things that i just said right there so that's the first book and i would just that's and i would read it in this order you guys of how I'm saying these books. I would read that first. You can read the physical, you can get the audio book, however you like to consume it. But I would just highly recommend you you read it and then you read the other two too as well. This can be your summer reading. <laughs> okay. Um, the second one is Atomic Habits by James Clear. I have made all my clients read this. I have read this multiple times. I've listened to it on audio. I've consumed it in multiple different ways just so that I could seriously absorb the hell out of it and I gained so much from this book this book is a definitive guide to breaking bad behaviors right all of the things like why you are not where you want to be is because you have all of these bad behaviors all of these bad habits right the behaviors turn into habits and that are not supporting you to where you want to go and this book will help you to adopt the good ones in four specific steps. It will show you how small, incremental, everyday routines, they compound into massive positive change over time. So like a lot of you guys, maybe in the day to day right now, you're hoping that you see some change in seven days. Well, guess what? That's not going to happen. That's not realistic. But if you understand how small incremental everyday routines consistently over time, they will compound into massive positive change in six months, one year, 18 months, two years, eight years. Okay, so that's book number two. Book number three. This was actually a recent read for me in like the last year, two years, a year and a half. It's called The Mountain Is You by Brianna West. And this is more a little bit more advanced, right? Get, get through these other two because they're going to help prime you for this book. This book is deep. The Mountain Is You is deep. And it focuses on the block between you and the life that you want to live. So where you are right now, right? And I, I said this in episode four of who are you working to become? And along the way, you will have, you will self-sabotage, you will get in your own way, you have blocks that will get you to where and the results that you want to seek for yourself. And I'm going to say in your fitness journey, right? And there's you right now and there's the you that you want to become. And so this book will help focus on the block between you and where you are trying to go. And Brianna West in this book, she explains how the imperfections, the experiences, the insecurities, and the hardship that you've faced so far built up in time and formed your personal challenge that you must overcome in order to grow. So like all of, and when I say victim, it's like mainly the stories and narrative, the limiting beliefs you've been telling yourself to date that honestly just do not serve you. They only serve your past. And your past, like we're already, I, the past, what I just said is already in the past. Your past happened so quickly. And these things that happened to you in the past, these stories that you're holding on to, or you externally pl placing blame on people and things and circumstances, they don't serve you into the, into the healthy fit you that you want to become. The way your mom, how you watched your mom grow up with a dieting lifestyle that she led, is just a part of your story. It's a part of a uh, belief that you have held through time and it doesn't serve you right now it's a part of your past and so this book will help you to to focus on that those things that you have built up over time and has become a personal challenge for you to try and break through and you have to break through those things and become more self-aware of those things in order to get to where you want to be when it comes to living your best life as a healthier, fit version and strongest version of yourself, best best version of yourself. Okay, so 
these books are so good, you guys. They are so freaking good. And I want you to take them again. You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero, Atomic Habits by James Clear, and The Mountain Is You by Brianna West. You guys, like, I'm telling you, read them in that order. And if you feel like you self-sabotage, if you feel like you are in this state consistently and constantly over time and you just can't get forward and the results that you want for yourself, it's you. And you have to break through these things and these books will help you do that. Okay? No coach. No co- coaches will help you hold you accountable to the things, right? But at the end of the day, you are the one that works on your internal meter, meter for greatness by doing all of the things that are supporting who you want to become. Okay, so I hope this podcast helped you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoy these books. They are just, like I said, they're just absolute game changers to helping you with the mindset as you embark on your fitness journey or even as you continue on your fitness journey, even if you're like 10 years in, right? And you still self-sabotage. Read these books, okay? I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next podcast. Hey guys, real quick, if you're interested in taking your body to the next level, lose body fat, build more muscle, feel more confident, do it alongside one of our 30 plus professional coaches. Work one-on-one with her to eliminate all of the guesswork that you may have and all you need to do is just do the work that she tells you to do to get to those goals of yours. Now to learn more, click the link below this podcast and apply to our VIP program right now.